probably move on in case YouTube starts wondering yeah, about that. Screening us. We'll, we'll start with the trivia. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as always. As always, we'll start with the trivia for the... Three questions. Everyone knows the rules. Three, three questions. <laughs> One answer. Everyone knows the rules. Uh, once again, I can't remember who's winning or not. Um, so... Yeah. Do you write it up there? You didn't write it up there. No, did I didn't because that was the fatness chart. Right. Um, I think I'm winning. I, of course, you think you're winning, but that may or may not reflect reality. And yes. I'm pretty sure I've been winning, but then we reset, and then I've been winning again. But let's just reset again. Let's just say I'm winning this week. Um, I no, let's not say that. Let's uh, reset it again because we don't okay. know. Unless you want to go back, resetting and again. Well, I've been, I've let you reset gonna, multiple I'm times. I'm just going to take it. I'm going to check last week's. You're not going to go through the whole thing. No, okay. I'm just going to check. How do? You, how can you check? Seek on YouTube. Yeah. How are you going to know who's winning? Because uh, we we'll just listen for well, thirty seconds. The last time there was some issues with the the questions on both sides. Apparently, uh, people said you were incorrect about something, and and you claimed I was incorrect. Please stand by. I was the winner last week. What did you? But you were wrong about your Atlas one. Someone. No, 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 no. Correctly, that quote. person was actually incorrect. It doesn't sound like it fits. Uh, okay, I'm winning. Mm. Sorry for that minor inconvenience. I love how when I'm winning, we just don't remember and we reset. We don't go list the podcast. But then when you apparently win one, we have to uh, just go back and listen during the podcast just to make sure. But uh, I'll let you have it. Like, it's okay. You had a bad morning. Uh, I, didn't anyway, miss, I didn't miss any deer this as morning. As the winner of last week. Yeah. I'll go. I'll be up first. Go on. I actually don't know if I won last week, but I was the winner going into last week. So No, you were. I was winning the week before that as well. No, no. No, no, because last week's pod, last week's quiz started with the words as the winner of last week. Yeah, yeah. So we're either drawing or I'm double winning. But I've won two previous and we had to reset them suddenly because right. we couldn't remember. Because they didn't exist. Because we didn't remember. Well, one of the podcasts didn't go up. See how good natured I am that I'll just anyway, like, reset. But you have to dig it in. like uh, As one of your little study topics go on. is your ancestry. Mm-hmm. You're big into it. You sent off a load of spit in an envelope. Go on. How far back do we go before we are directly related? So everybody who's from Europe Mm -hmm. can go back a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. And you could just tell me a century, BC, AD, where you can go back and Mm -hmm. we'll have, definitely have a common ancestor. Uh, I'm going to say about 250,000 years when the eruption happened when there was about a thousand breeding pairs. In uh, North Africa. Uh, not Africa, it was in Asia somewhere. For everyone yeah. who's currently European, you right. have to only go back to the 8th century. No way. To have a common ancestor, yeah. That's mad. So it's the thing of uh, like those squares on a chessboard where every time you go, you double. You know, So it's like uh, two parents, then four grandparents, mm-hmm. then whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, just to the 8th century and you'll have a common ancestor with everyone in Europe. That's mad. It's madness. It's a um, great little piece of trivia though. There was a point where a very, very large eruption reduced uh, the human population down to about a thousand breeding pairs. Jesus. That like caused a big genetic bottleneck for a while. Yeah. And then obviously we, here we are seven billion people later. Yeah. Seven and a half or whatever it is now. It's a lot of riding went on in between. Now. Oh, a lot of, it's mad how resilient people were. Yeah. That like. Mad how good they are riding. Nuclear winter, uh, an enormous, there's a huge lake in the crater and I can't remember if it's somewhere in Asia or if it's in Africa. I'm pretty sure it's in Africa. Uh, there's a huge lake there now where this enormous, like Yellowstone kind of eruption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was only a couple of th- couple of hundred people left that were like viable breeding pairs, and they just fucked, just <laughs> fucked. <laughs> and here we are today. Um, okay, so mine, obviously, Irish history question as yeah, always, a classic. Yeah, like, it's, and it's a classic question, and uh, you should know the answer to this one. Right. What year, Michael Collins, was the Irish Free St- <laughs> close? <laughs> what year was the Irish Free State established? 1927. No, 1922. Was it 22? 6th December 1922. I thought the eruption of the Civil War. Anyway, that's I, was, what I was just wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 27, yeah. You knew it was the 20s, but no one ever remembers when. It's either twi- yeah, I thought the Civil War kicked off in 22. But it, I was did, it did, right. it did. That's, okay. that's when the Free State was established, and then the, <sighs> the Civil War, then everyone fucking... Yeah. They, um... They... So there was supposedly a... Sniper 
or who was in the British Army, who was with the people ambushing Michael Collins, and they shot him. And supposedly he's the person who... No way. ...was was placed there by the British government. One of the stories is that he was there by the British government to assassinate Michael or whatever. Um, some of the stories from the people, the rest of the people who ambushed them, they said they didn't want to kill Michael. Yeah. They didn't want to um, shoot him. Um, but they said there's also a possibility, because that sniper is unlikely in uh, with iron sights in the evening with less light, there's no way he would have got a headshot. And it's possibly was friendly fire, someone in Fuck. Michael's. So there's a lot of like yeah, a yeah, lot of yeah. stories around Michael Collins yeah. in short. But uh where was he on the way? To Bill and Blob, he's on the way to West was it Kerry? On the way to West Cork. His maybe. mother's house or something about yeah. somewhere down down the West. Well, anyway, nineteen twenty two. Christ which established the Free State. So hundred years next year. Yeah. yeah. Um Okay, oh. moving swiftly on. Mm-hmm. You'll know the very common yellow of the tennis ball, right? Go, so yes. tennis balls all yellow we expect them to be yellow mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that was famously brought away because tennis balls are easier to see on TV when they're yellow like, understandable so it wouldn't have always been yellow mm-hmm. a very famous person yeah. he wouldn't commonly associate with tennis or even sport in general yeah. came up with that idea who is that person? no idea David Attenborough what? So David Attenborough was working as a TV controller on BBC Two. Of course he was. Obviously working on tennis, mm-hmm. maybe Wimbledon. I'm mm-hmm. going to embellish the story a bit. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was his idea to make the tennis balls yellow yeah. so they could see them better on TV. That's mad. What a man. He's yeah. a, he's, he's a, an absolute treasure. Yeah. A treasure for the world. He's, uh, his voice is just... And here we have. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's mad. David Attenborough. But uh, I actually don't know if it's the same David Attenborough, but I think it is. It is it's, it's how <laughs> it like surely Jesus. is. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was the other one? Uh, Mount Everest grows by a certain amount every year. So yes. they, the two tectonic plates are pushing each other. Yes. And the mountains are moving up. The mountain. Um, in, because my answer is in inches. How, to, to what, the, how many? Eleven. No, a third of an inch of year. It's about a third of an inch. It's going. Sorry, eleven inches. Would be eleven inches massive. would be nearly a foot every year, <laughs> which would be. Uh, there's still dispute if um, some the people who, who climbed it were uh, the first people who climbed it. Someone else might have made it first, but just didn't make it down. But I feel like if you didn't make it down, can you really? Yeah, yeah. Can you Is really? Is that climbing it? Yeah, like you made a summit, but yeah. did you get back? I caught the snatch. Just couldn't stand it up. Yeah, th- that's what that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's um, there's still fucking loads of bodies there. Yeah, they can't it's grim. Just can't take them down. Just frozen solid blocks of rotting bodies. But they're not rotting. Like. Uh, there's actually a fair bit of decay still goes on In, when they're rotting. Even, apparently, oh, go away. Yeah, lots of rubbish and stuff. Yeah, and it's becoming like almost a tourist uh, destination. Tourist trap. Did you see that traffic jam there this year? I might have shown you the yeah. photo. That's oh my god. Um, that's so fucked up. Do you know, say what you want about 200 kilo snatch, but, you know, with Mount Everest, people can go give it a go and might make it. Yeah, No yeah, one's yeah. accidentally making 200 kilo no. snatches. No. No, but that's um, that's probably well, why. Most people do Everest base camp and stuff. Um, I knew people who went there actually on their honeymoon and they were violently sick. <laughs> they were quite fit individuals or, so yeah. or, or it's a different kind of obviously yeah, fitness yeah, yeah. for task, but they, uh, they was horrible basically. My father's buddy did it. Mm-hmm. Um, he's fit, fit out, but like, yeah, yeah, he's just a different well thing. into his fifties. Mm-hmm. Um, viciously, violently afraid of heights. Good way. Yeah, to the point where we used to live abroad with him, mm-hmm. and there's a certain place we used to go to breakfast at the top of a skyscraper, and it was all glass all the way around the top, mm-hmm. and he used to have to shuffle around the room with his back to the window. I'm. That wouldn't f- scare me, but if I started thinking about it, you'd be like, hmm, this is uh, interesting. You know, the, the yeah. skyscraper thing. Like, if you start thinking about it too much, you know, you, you just see like, oh, we are very high up and we're very near the edge. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. And like, um, like I would just have a, a healthy caution of heights, you know. Right. And I wouldn't be like, oh, my God, I can't go up here. Yeah, yeah. But you'd it's be like, not a debilitating fear no, of heights. No. You just have an awareness. Yeah. And, you know, if you started thinking about that, if you're up on a skyscraper. You're really high up. You're like, oh, very But if you look out the window here, like where you're as likely to die when you hit the ground here as you are from well, sure, skyscraper. Shouldn't have fallen. Like I could lean out that window, there's no problem. Watch yeah. knackers fighting, like it's great, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's funny. It's it's funny when you think about those things because it's not. It's like when you think about breathing or when you think about yeah. driving, you know. You just start suddenly being like, 
what the fuck is going on? When you think about the rate you're breathing at, mm-hmm. that it it always gets me. Yeah. You just be like, oh my god, I am breathing. Wait a minute. Oh, don't ever start t- thinking about blinking as well. Oh no, blinking will really fuck with you. Oh, oh there. <laughs> Christ, give me your third right. one. Last one. Yeah. Third and final question. Mm-hmm. One thing yes. has killed more than half of the humans that have ever Malaria. lived. Fucking hell, yes. that was a great one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You nailed that. Yeah, I nailed that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if that's in dispute, but they're, I think they're pretty confident yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy, though, isn't it? Crazy. The mosquito has killed more than half of all humans who've ever lived. They're on about. So they've a lot of places have toyed with the releasing infertile mosquitoes. Yeah, but they're just obviously massive implications on the ecosystem because lots of things eat them. You know. Yeah. And there's so many of them, and they reproduce so well uh, that it's. It's definitely not a good move. No. That would definitely no, fuck no, things no. up. Uh, forest fires in California from mosquitoes being eliminated in, uh, <laughs> in fucking, uh, you know, in Northern Africa somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. You're, um, I don't know if you mentioned this last week, but you're delicious for, oh, we were on the genetic, my genetic yes. thing. You're delicious for insects. Does it make you feel good? Uh, no. No, it, it's, it's irritating beyond all else. They're like, mm, give me so some. There's some things you're like, you just can't control, you know? You're like, oh, when I was playing rugby, I was like, geez, it'd be great to be six foot four, mm-hmm. but I can't control that. Yeah, yeah. Or like, yeah, Joe, yeah. you wish you didn't have a micro penis or whatever. Yeah. Fuck the that. Yeah. Being very, very delicious insects mm-hmm. is by far one of the most annoying things in the world. But it, it will be like yeah, freezing but it's, cold outside. Yeah. Windy. Nobody's getting bitten. Yeah. And next thing I'll have like fucking back my neck covered in mosquito bites. Do you think it's because of the micro penis that you're so delicious? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this guy's got a tiny dick. I don't dick. know. He's got a tiny dick and when he Obviously, eat before I had the micro penis. <laughs> yeah. I never took notice of it. Like, Yeah, you, it's hard to... It's hard it. to remember back that far. Like. Yeah, Carly knows too. Like, yeah. Um, I wonder if they're just, they just see you and they're like... I wonder if <laughs> did the micro penis exist before... <sighs> Joe, before anyone started looking at it, was it still a micro penis? <laughs> yeah, did people... So like before like 15 or 16, did mm. the micro penis exist? It's but, like if a tree falls in the forest and there's nobody there to witness it. Like. But you know, obviously, there's this, up until a certain point, you would have never seen another man's dick. You know, uh, you might not have. Yeah. No, you might have thought your micro penis was perfectly normal. Maybe I did. Yeah, you could have just been wandering. I seen even like a hundred, couple hundred years ago. Like, yeah, you could have just been wandering around thinking your micro penis was perfectly <laughs> adequate, and just not sure why. This is part of the reason I think lads who didn't play sport yeah. are just like they're just different yeah, because of the micro. They penis. don't have to share with all the other lads all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's no way of lying to yourself being like, jeez, I have a tiny dick. Yeah. <laughs> like they are like, jeez, my dick is massive. Yeah. When you have to share with 15 other lads three days a week. Jeez, YouTube will not put ads on this. Um, <laughs> okay, my third question. Very interesting question. So wait, wait. Did I get any of yours right? No. no. Not so far. And you've got one right. One so this is for the biscuits. Um, so in 1994, a rock band was formed. And they were named after what the Allies called UFOs during the Second World War. There's a slang term. What the Allies called? 1994. I have something in my head. Yes. But. Yes. That's aimed after a rocket. So it's hardly that. Mm-hmm. 1994. Ah. Uh, I have a few names in my head. I feel like we can't be guessing all day, so I'm gonna. Uh, I'll give you two guesses. Wait, could I get a hint? No. A hint in one guess. No. Could I try to guess for a hint? Mm, I'm not sure what hint I'd give you. That would be too obvious. Nationality. Um. Because there's a lot of rock bands. Like. No, there's a lot writing in this, so there's no hints. No hints, but mm. two guesses. Yeah, d- yeah. Because I feel, I feel like. Okay, I'll give you one guess and a hint. Uh, it's an American rock band, so I mean, that's not much use to you. Most of them are in the 90s are American. Most of them are. Uh, so one guess. The Allies called the UFO. So a UFO just being an unidentified flying object. Yeah. What's the, what do the Allies call it? Oh, that's Metallica? No, not bad. Metallica in the 80s, though. Uh, okay. Foo Fighters. Oh fuck! So it's a very famous band. So it was a fair question. Yeah, like you, yeah, you very, could, fair, very, 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 yeah. The Foo Fighters, great band, phenomenal. The Pretender is great song. Yeah, um, bam, bam, bam. Walk Hero, all right. great songs. See you won this week. Yeah, we need to record this. Somewhere, we need though. to write this down somewhere. So I'm still ahead by work. Right on the fat sheet. 
you can't write on the fat sheet because that's for fatness. Yeah. Write in a 103 at the weekend. Fucking hell. In all me clothes. Down from 120. All me <laughs> <laughs> That's 80% body fat. Like. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, a lot better this morning now with the jits. Jits. So instead of going ham for those... Well, the minute rest like isn't enough but I, I didn't go to the danger zone the you didn't <sighs> no I, I, I paced it well but I went hard when I was going hard then you know so I paced a lot better and uh, so it was uh, there was no um, <laughs> quality was high you know yeah but uh, they the same with the gi and stuff you know that it's way slower so yeah they, like uh, Galera was showing some like net chokes on Teddy you know like the, yeah. the, the gi and stuff you know so funny uh, so he said that's way slower because it's way more technical because You'll have to release the grip, and if you release the grip, there's an option for someone else to grab you and stuff. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you can't go full dumbass like we do in Nogi. See, the full dumbass thing is is due to, I think, a combination of complete and utter lack of skill. Yep. And then just violent aggression. So, <laughs> like, so the, the problem. Just grabbing hands and heads and yeah. slapping each other. Like, you know, it's. I, I, like, I was getting Teddy a lot today now because I'm just stronger and faster than we weren't in geese. So we're both very unskilled, obviously. Yeah. But um, I suppose just a better athlete than Teddy. It's just not, <laughs> you know. And that's fine. You're just so modest. Like, no, but that's... Modesty does really come true on the... No, but I could see that today after, like, getting into it, you know. Like, a little bit more, I understand what's going on better now, you know. Yeah. So with me and Teddy's miserable skill levels, like, could absolute right. baseline lack of knowing much what's going on. Like, I can just use, like, the... I, but I just, did you go against Rambo after? No. No, I went with Galera after. Um, and so, obviously, he was... he. The only thing Galera will resist is because I'm 30 kilos heavier than him is just to take down a bit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll, I'll try hard to take down, and he'll resist hard. Yeah. But then, obviously, when we get to the floor, he's not... He, he was... He tried more than he did last week, you know? Yeah. But, obviously, he could have ended it as soon as he wants, so... Oh, uh, absolutely. He's a freak. Yeah, there's... um. We're learning a lot of stuff today. Was like getting out of of locks, which is very interesting. Um, yeah. The the number of uh, options available is very high. Um, yeah. So it's. Uh, I'm gutted I missed it. Yeah. I have to wait till Thursday. I won't be able to make it this Thursday now. Oh, won't you? No. Because you're with the road dog. The road dog, the big dog. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm I'm so excited. I just keep finding myself like. Joking, Africa. Yeah. Or just Joe generally just thinking about it all the time. Do you know, the thing I've noticed um, <laughs> is uh, I, I'm afraid to put a lot of effort into the, str- the cho- holes and stuff, you know? Yeah. And I'll do that with stuff like with, with the gun and stuff. You know, I won't be, say, for pulling back the bolts and locking the next one. Oh, you have to ram the bolt. I know, but I'm, I'm like, I'm an ogre! You know, that kind of thing. Like, I don't want to be, like, I'm used to. It's it's the, same, it's the exact same way with the snatch where you can't yeah. you can't go as fast as you're able to go straight away. You yeah, know you yeah, have to yeah. slow it down. No, but I I find out with a lot of things where I'm like max force is too much, so I've moderated things to a slightly you know. Yeah, like you can run the bolt as fast and as hard as you want. Yeah. Oh, but I'm just saying rifle. it's yeah, just a yeah. natural habit of like moderating effort because obviously yeah you know you don't need ogre hands smashing things like <laughs> it's the same with the choke you know um, um you can on Galeri you can go as hard as you want on the choke. Teddy lets you go hard too, little horny yeah. bastard. Oh, he really does. He yeah. never gives up. Ne- he actually won't. Except on his shoulders. Yeah, the shoulder thing is funny. Yeah. Um, but the, yeah, with the chokes, I find like, to me, it feels like I'm choking someone hard, but I'm going like 40%. And then when you choke harder, like, then there's a lot more. Yeah, into it, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but obviously, you can put a shitload of effort into the wrong place and you're getting nothing done. Yeah. I'm finding the anterior delts are like getting the most because Teddy's like 100 he said he's 95 kilos but he's 115 obviously like <laughs> so there's a lot of resistance here you know of uh, like oh, for, yeah, pushing forward yeah did you did you do anything interesting over the weekend um what did you do the weekend so Friday there was the Christmas party yeah Saturday I feel like oh it's, what did I do Saturday we went out Saturday evening yeah got no deer Sunday I went out in the morning we got no deer again. Um, it's a bit of a dry spell. Then, then I brought the dogs up the mountain. Uh, very enjoyable. I love when it's quiet. There's yeah, no one yeah, around yeah. The, on the mountain. Uh, there's one pad off to the left. So there's like a crossroads up, in the, up a bit. And there's off to the left. It comes up to dead end, but it's like maybe a mile up there. So I like that one because there's no one else goes up there as well. Right. The dogs love the uh, the sniffing, you know. The staffing. And then I went out again in the evening near home um, with the pops. 
and uh, just to suss out some different ground. Yeah. But sneak out, seek our crafty little devils. You need to get some knockers. Yeah, the albino, without the binos, it's glassing, it's glassing with the rifle is not really, it's, nah, it's very. Not it. Yeah. Glassing yeah. in the, like if you're sitting in somewhere, it's fine. Yeah. You don't have like the field of view, you know. Yeah, you don't. And obviously you're, you're moving a lot then as well. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was sitting nicely because a, a fox was where I was hoping they'd come out and he didn't notice me. So yeah. it was a, d- a decent spot, but uh, f- a lovely little fox. Their uh, the quality's gone up again. I feel the quality of foxes. Well, they used to. So a couple of years ago, there was an issue with them. Maybe it's about ten years or more. They were breeding a lot of dogs and stuff. So like the their breeding was gone very poor. So right. like, if you looked at tails and stuff, as you would have seen, yeah, 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 intimately, yes, like tails would have been very um, small and scraggly and stuff. You know, yeah. And you would see. Jeez, a lot we of, have we have foxes out west that are as big as the Labrador. Yeah, their their breeding's Huge. gone a lot better. There was yeah. there was an issue with them for a while. It's funny, like there's large-scale agriculture is bad for a lot of things like biodiversity and stuff mm-hmm. it's phenomenal for certain species like jesus there's foxes foxes there. crows mm-hmm. deer and rabbits yeah <laughs> it's just like it's yeah. the glory days unlimited food everywhere for all year round you know um, it's great to see badgers come back as well yeah we saw we had a great badger encounter out there last week we did. That was so cool to see it because yeah. you never see a badger minding its own business. No, no, Usually no. Usually they're flipping you off and, and t- turning oh, over your car. Oh, funny. Over. You know, the hill on the way to Carrick Line, mm-hmm. Carrick Hill. Yeah. Top of Carrick Hill, you'll enjoy this so much. It this flip, weekend. It flipped your car. Front bumper. Yeah. Covered in blood right. on the side of the road. Yeah. And a dead badger in the middle of the road. No way. Yeah. And the car full was on, flipped. Full on front bumper. And the car was in over the ditch. No. <laughs> the car was gone. But uh, And the other ditch. Yeah. No. And then a day or two later, there was a dead fox. So obviously the fox have been scavenging on the dead badger. I I would just recommend people, if you can go see a badger in person somewhere, you just appreciate <laughs> it. And then if you can see a badger running in person, you'll appreciate it more. Yeah, they're mad. Just so vicious. Like Badgers are fucking class. People don't really think of predators in Ireland. Like, is it most of them are gone? Obviously wolves and bears are gone, you know. But the uh, badgers are vicious vicious predators they're just so powerful like if you see a badger from the top but they're down, not they're not powerful in the way where they're like they're gonna chase something down and kill no, it because they can't see they're, like, yeah they're powerful for flipping over rocks and trees eating little insects <laughs> grubs and worms they're your best friend because they eat the insects and yeah stuff, you know? yeah but they are mega powerful yeah uh they're they're not like honey badger aggressive no 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 because they're not aggressive no they're just thick terrible eyesight apparently with a capital tick very <laughs> They are T-I-C-C-C. Like yeah, they are yeah, very yeah. viciously thick. Like they're yep. just like, just fucking. We have a badger then in the quarry at home. Oh, yes. Do you want the way up the driveway? Yes. And uh, the badger's in there. Uh, I don't know if they eat any rodents or anything. I'm not sure. I assume they eat anything they can get. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, They never bother us too much. They're class. You'd see them on the driveway the other time. The TB. So there was for a while in Ireland, people, um, I think it was in the 80s and 90s, uh, TB or tuberculosis for animals was... So badgers can get it. Yeah. And a lot of, they thought for a while that badgers are spreading it to the farmers and to the cows. Obviously not the farmers weren't getting TB anymore, but they thought that the badgers were passing it on to them. So deer can get it as well. And they, they were bait, badger baiting was a big thing for a long time to get rid of the badgers. And they brought this species pretty low, I think, but yeah. now I think it's them in a very healthy place again. It didn't work. It didn't do anything for TB. Yeah. It wasn't the issue like they were. Badgers are, so badgers are protected now. As they you're not be. allowed to hunt them. Yeah. But if your farm gets locked down with TV, they'll come and trap all the badgers. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, that's understandable, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. No, it's I, the I, same way where, like, you can hunt deer, but if you're hunting deer in a place that where they're locked down with TV, you'll have to provide samples of all the deer you shoot there. Oh, okay, yes. To yes. try and track if it's in the herd, no, which the ba- obviously makes a lot of sense. No, the, ba- the badger should be should be protected like there's no reason no well the one reason i don't want them to be protected is they used to make badger ham and i really want to taste badger ham cured ham yeah i can't imagine it's great why it would be like the same way bear is like pork be I, like a little wild pork i'm on the fence about that bear thing like i i, I feel you know sometimes people say that just to be like oh you've never had bear no bear, bear, is, bear is supposed to taste good yeah it's supposed to be like people say mountain lion tastes good as well like but I, I don't know if that's like <laughs> No, I, I bet it does. I don't know. Pre- do like do predators usually taste good? I wonder what seal is like. Vicious little line, like oh, sea I lions. Yeah, it's hard to fishy. I'd say a lot of things are like a custom flavor as well. What yeah. Were, what were we talking about the other day? Where people? Oh, we were talking about this. Where 
if you grew grew up eating something, it was no problem to you. But then if yeah. you try something, what was the type of food we're talking about? It was something in particular that everyone would be eating, but like some people just wouldn't eat it. Bread and sauce? No. Black no. pudding? No, I'm not sure. You know what I don't get about black pudding? Is people Go like, on. oh, there's so much blood in it. And you're like, what about all the other meat you eat? Yeah. What's the... I love black pudding. Big fan of black pudding. Big it? fan of black pudding. There's a long time where a stick of black pudding yeah. and half a loaf of white bread was my go-to half of the meal was of the day. Meal one through four. Yeah. Um, that would get me from 12 noon yeah. through to eight or nine o'clock in the evening when I'd have to eat again. I remember uh, way back in my other life when I was in the queue to canteen one time and they had um, omelettes with black pudding and cheese. Omelette? Omelette. Omelettes with black pudding and cheese, you know? Yeah. And uh, the fella behind me, like 50s, big belly in him yeah he was like do you know uh black pudding because i remember this came out for a while they're like black pudding's a superfood yeah know? yeah yeah and i was like to be honest with you i think that's a lot of bollocks <laughs> and uh, i was like a lot of experts would agree with me i would say just very offhandedly very casually i yeah. wasn't arguing but i was like no i don't, I don't think because he that's said it's so the salt com- is the the killer in it like uh he he said it so confidently you know yeah. he's like nope it's uh i've been eating for years now and look at me and I was like, oh, yeah, like massively out of shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure you're a bad advert for black pudding, to be honest, <laughs> if we're being honest to each other. But uh, yeah, black pudding, you, you can eat too much black pudding in one go and be. Yeah. Oh, you can be uh, held up. Do you know, uh, on, a, on the tangent of meals, do you know what I find very good for that instant crash or whatever I do is just having very defined meal points. Oh, right. So like meal one, two and three. So that's what I'm having at the moment. Eat everything, like, same quantity of food, basically, and same whatever. But eat whatever breakfast. No carbs at breakfast now, most days. Um, right. I think you've something, you kind of, you, you try that as well a bit, too, when you find it. I find, I find, like, if I'm going to eat a breakfast. Yeah. It's better not to have carbs. So I have, um. But then I fucking love Coco Pops. Coco Pops are delicious. Yeah. So usually what I'll have is, uh. Pretty high protein breakfast, and it'll be just mostly venison at the moment. Yeah, uh, liver if I have it. No liver, it lasts me a week. But obviously, as the aforementioned, uh, no deer. <laughs> the, dry, the aforementioned dry spell. The dry spell. There's been no liver, so um, so just venison at the moment. Some yeah. fillets. Um, so I eat that, and then no carbohydrates, and then nothing, nothing between like nine and twelve. Then nothing between like twelve and seven eight again, and I yeah. feel like there's a lot more consistent. Uh, and without coffee as well, I think there's a nice little, you get those. I've cut majorly down on the caffeine. You have actually, yeah. You go through real cycles, vicious cycles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's just there's so many early mornings these days. Like mm. half five starts. Five, it doesn't benefit you in the morning. This morning was 10 to five start. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, if you're ramming coffee down your throat the other days of the week, mm-hmm. it's, it's just no bueno. Um, I have noticed the... Um, so like there was the first few weeks where the no caffeine was like the first two weeks were terrible. Yeah. And then it was kind of like, um, mm, I could still do a coffee, you know, but it's fine. Yeah. But now it's like exponentially better again. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. It's prefer- it definitely is a, a poison chalice, I suppose, in terms of like energy production. So there's a lot of benefits of coffee and they're fairly yeah. well established and more than happy for people. Whatever. Like I mentioned that video made, but I think um, it's definitely uh, kind of taken from today or tomorrow for today kind of thing. Yeah, this morning now I had coffee at 10 to 5, and it was handy. Mm-hmm. It's good. I had coffee, two Kit Kat Chunkies, which were a uh, popcorn flavor. Kit Kat Chunkies. <laughs> and then, Kit Kat and Chunkies. A, a raspberry protein bar from the ones you gave me. Oh, yeah. This, I've really got enough protein bars. Yeah. They've just Do you know what? Them. I keep the box in my Jeep, mm-hmm. and it's like the perfect food to have in, in the car with you, because mm-hmm. you don't really want to eat it, but if you have if to, you have to yeah. they're there. I'd, yeah, I agree with that there. Yeah. I think... Um, the protein bars, it's just kind of like you can kind of get used to the flavor. Yeah. And you'd be like, oh, okay, I'll eat it. meh. Yeah. But like, what, three or four, 300 calories, maybe 250? You're just eating a Mars bar. Those grenade bars are 260, I think. Yeah. Which is still high. Like, how how useful is that protein as well? I, I haven't checked what grenade yeah. get theirs from, but a lot of them have like soya protein or, or additives of soy and stuff like And that's just, for me anyway, I find that if, if you, for example, get like, Protein granola or something like that, you know? Yeah, yeah, They'll yeah. They'll use to be soya bean yeah. extract for protein, and that'll right through on. Oof, really? <laughs> Straight through? Straight through. Not great for the digestive. Uh, normal granola then won't have that effect or whatever, but uh, protein stuff yeah. like that is, is uh, you know, it's no bueno. 
He's a no good. He's a no bueno. He's a no good. Um, there's some interesting arguments about the Easter dinner. The other five interesting from Soya. Yeah. yeah. Um, Do you know what? Yeah, there is an. Ar- there, yeah, Do on, you know sorry. what? No, go for it. Babe. And a, a lot of this power ahead. A lot of those arguments fall into this category for me, right? Mm-hmm. That's not the reason why people are out of shape. Oh, oh, a hundred percent. Joe, like people are like, no, I don't use soy sauce. Mm-hmm. Joe knows by the way she does it soya, mm-hmm. or they're like, oh no, I don't do that because yeah, I retain so much water out. Joe, like there's yeah, yeah. so many things, and oh. it's just that's never the reason. No, no, but if you're in shape and you're if someone says that to you, it's like, oh, that's interesting. But yeah, obviously when people are, it's m- interesting. It just makes no effect. Massively. Well, they did find an upper limit the last time I looked at this a couple of years, or not a months ago. I'd say was yeah. there was like twelve servings. I saw it did have a noticeable effect. I think twelve servings over how long though? A, a day, like twelve servings a day. Yeah. So there was an upper limit where it was like, oh, this actually does. Yeah. Matter. You know, because if it's like, um, for example, protein, you know, there isn't really an upper limit. It's like close to like a fucking kilogram. Yeah. It's like nine hundred grams or something. Yeah, but if you if you had twelve servings of processed sugar a day, yeah. You would be. We'd have to cut a hole in the window to get you out. I'd I'd get there. Like, I'd do it. Twelve servings, no problem. <laughs> you do it. You put that scales next to you under pressure. I'm not really making an argument for or against fighter estrogens here, but I, I I would make an effort to avoid them. But right. I wouldn't be like, oh my god, are you eating fighter estrogens? Uh, thanks again for for tuning in. If the podcast on YouTube is something you're enjoying, or even if it's not, if mm-hmm. you could just like the video, make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, and uh, leave a comment below with questions. Thanks, guys.